This video is presented to you by General Relativity Explained. So this is the book by James B. Hartley. And as you all know that James B. Hartley is a famous physicist who worked closely with uh, Stephen Hawking uh, to develop the steady state theory. Now this book, Gravity and Introduction to General Relativity, I consider to be one of the best books to learn uh, general relativity. And in this video, I would just like to give you a quick idea about this book, how this book uh, is all about and what all you can learn from this book. You can see it's uh, more or less a very thick book. Uh, yeah. So this is how it is. It's a kind of a paper bound book. If you open the book, it looks like this. But before going through this book, uh, you know, open up the back portion and let you know how this uh, book is arranged. So uh, just let me quickly flick over to the back portion uh, which actually shows you here it is the pedagogical structure. Let me zoom a little bit so that things become clear. There you go. Oh, Okay, so here you see the first thing that the book tells here is that explore first and deliver, derive later. So this is very important. Explore first and uh, derive later. Here the author says that the simplest physically relevant solution of the Einstein equation are present first without derivation. And most of my videos what I try to do is that I try to explore on this principle that you need to first explore and then derive later. So this is how the book has been arranged. Though. This part goes first and then you see, I just like to zoom a little bit further so you can uh, see this part. Okay. So only the simplest examples, uh, this part shows the simplest example. This introduces new math as necessary. That means that you only get those math which is absolutely necessary for your part, right? So here you go, so introducing the new math as necessary. Then comes the stress physical phenomena and the connection to experiment. Claxis experiment not observed. And then the basic organization. So you see the first part of the book shows what are the prerequisites, this part. The main requisites is the introductory mechanics course that is typically a standard part of undergraduate. Then come the three parts of the books, how it is arranged. So the first part tells that it introduces that gravity is a geometry and reviews the basic parts of Newtonian and special relativistic mechanics. This is again to be important. Uh, uh, I hope you can see this. My camera behaves properly. Yeah. So these are the three parts which are being organized. The second part shows it introduces the basic idea of generative and then focus understanding the simplest black hole cosmology and gravitational wave. So this part is also important. And third part goes to give an elemented discussion uh, of, uh, of pr the production of gravitational waves and relativistic stars. So just a note before we go into this book is that this book is not for those who absolutely have no idea about the mathematics part. This is uh, something which you really need to know. Then the book describes about the boxes, etc. The uh, mathematical notes books and the construction. You can see how it is being constructed. So the part one, uh, the gravitational physics. Then the part two, it starts with the geometry uh, outside the spherical structure. And then the part three. So I can say you that this is more or less the structure in which the book is organized. It's a pretty heavy book, I mean to say in terms of reading, and not that difficult. So first you see it shows the flat speed. With this book, as you can see right at the beginning, these are all the, uh, uh, you know, formulas which are given. So flat space, space time, Cartesian coordinates. Then the spatial spherical pole, uh, spherical pole coordinates, then the static weak field coordinates, the Schwarzschild geometry, everything very arranged, uh, very strategically. Curved geometry, I mean to say the curved space time. And then comes this one, the Friedman Robertson uh, workers model. Everything, everything has been arranged in a very nice fashion, uh, this part. Okay, so we move to the next thing. Let me show you what, what is the content. Yeah, so this is the content. Uh, I think it is visible. So gravitational physics, first it covers uh, geometry as physics, then covers the space time and gravity Newtonian physics. Then it goes to the principles of special relativity, including those topics like Lorentz Bohr's time dilation, time, di time paradox, right. Then here you can see a special and relativistic mechanics uh, um, machines, which are the four vectors, the special relativity, etc. 
Then part two comes and starts with the curved space-time of general relativity, gravity as geometry. And you see, you know, this book, the speciality, speciality of this book is that it has got a lot of tests. <coughs> it shows a lot of tests which are there. Uh, so the global uh, positioning system, the Newtonian gravity in space-time. Then you will see that the description of curved space-time is given, followed by the geodesics. This part follows the uh, geodesics part. And then it comes with the geometry of spherical stars, solar system tests, relativistic, astrophysical, uh, and then further it goes into rotating black holes, all those. And then part comes the Einstein equation, followed by the relativistic stars. Now, the basic good part of this book is that this book contains a lot of exercises. Now, I mean to say, if you're really a math guy and you want to uh, discover the exercises, how things are being arranged, you can very well go ahead with that. Now, uh, the first part of the book, which is the space-time and Newtonian physics, it starts with gravitational physics. You see the basic derivation of, of, the, of, of the Newtonian mechanics followed by the, uh, some, some of the figures. Now, some of the figures, you will see these are a little bit hazy. This is not the good part of the book. So you see these, these are the figures which are not very clear. This is the Crab Nebula and this is how... Uh, you know the relativistic gravity itself. So it starts with that and it go, goes ahead. Here you can see that the escape velocity is being mentioned along with the escape velocity with request to light. And so this part is actually which we are dealing with the Newtonian. Then, then it shows a little bit of what is quantum gravity is all about. Uh, the different uh, lunar razor <coughs> ranging test experiments in geometry and so on. Okay, so then it starts with different geometries. You can see here that the ideas of different geometries usually illustrated in two dimension. So you can see how this uh, part, which is deals with the, I would say the uh, what you call the non-Euclidean geometry. So the spherical triangle, the interior angles are two seventy degrees. So how it happens? So it explains on that. And then it's the line element. This part is very interesting. It has a very clean understanding of Euclidean geometry of a plane. Uh, I won't go further because it would take too long. Uh, you can see that, that the coordinate invariance and this type of surface in three-dimensional space with geometry specified with the element, etc., all are being uh, quite clearly given. Chapter 3 starts with the space, time, and gravity in Newtonian physics. Uh, this is the line element of Cartesian coordinates, as you see, with the inertial frames. Now, these are the illustrations which actually happens. You see that the reference frames, how things are being changed, it is being rotated and flipped. So these are nice examples, very good, clearly explained. Max principle is being explained, then comes the principles of relativity, followed by Newtonian gravity. At the end, you will see that each of this, sort, for example, Newtonian mechanics, variation principles, right? Then it comes, shows you the problems. Uh, let me zoom it so that it becomes clearer to you. Right. So here you see that these are the problems, right? So a free particle moving in an initial frame, the, uh, number two, number three. So if you're really interested in the math part, you can solve out those problems. And then it further goes to principles of special relativity. See, it starts with a very basic, the michelson morley experiment. And then it shows how the michelson morley experiment has been devised with this reference of laser. Einstein's revolution and its consequences, the famous, this three observer experiment, as you know, how special relativity. So if you're really willing to learn special relativity, uh, looking at those illustrations of space time, or what you call the world line, all those things, railway trains in space time, all of them have been clearly and very mathematically described. You see here the line elements of space time. This is this is really a wonder of this book. Okay, I will just skip few of the chapters because otherwise it is going to take a, a lot of time. Then it comes to the curved space of general relativity and here it explains primarily about the testing of uh, equality of gravitation as inertial mass. So here rotation of the earth etc. Uh, then it shows the clocks in gravitational field, how it behaves. Uh, uh, it, it, these are the uh, you know, different times how the clocks behave in the gravitational field. It comes with local uh, inertial frames, then the length, area and volume. Now, this is typically uh, something which is very interesting. It gives an idea of the differential geometry part where this metric tensor and others. But uh, the good part of this book is that it takes the differential geometry of that part, which is only, only, only present over there, not much. So this, this covers the 
uh, length area for volume and diagonal matrix is equally important wormholes in space time the embedding the r5 these things so, so these are actually the mathematics of in three dimensional uh, surfaces dim dimensional space time light ray orbit so the good part is that each of these are very easy mathematics then you can come to the cosmological part right uh, which shows the geometry outside a spherical system and this is what it shows the Schwarzschild geometry right this is pretty well. typically the Schwarzschild metric uh, which is being derived so that is also being covered further to that you can uh, further see that the perihelion precision of the perihelion this part how uh, you know Einstein measured the mercury's precision perihelion the gravity black hole and then further it goes into orbits in the equatorial plane the ein okay uh, another important thing which i just want to show you you see that the covariant derivative and how the uh, how 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 uh, the differential geometry takes place over here here comes an important chapter which is called the curved <coughs> curvature of the einsteinian equation now the curvature of the einsteinian equation is being quite mathematically and clearly laid out with certain very simple illustrations i hope this is visible so you see the observers free falling and this is tidal gravitational forces and importantly you will see that the geodesic equation is being uh, dealt with uh, much much clarity so here it shows the riemann curvature tensor so equation of geodesic deviation etc these are being shown then comes uh, this part which is the newtonian gravity and general relativity this is important so what are the basic field quantity what are the, what are the part particulars over here right followed by the newtonian gravity and then followed by general relativity so this is a kind of comparison now you see it comes to einstein's equation in vacuum right so einstein equation in the vacuum in the sense that it shows see the value is zero so this part is actually we are taking the einstein field equation in vacuum so that things become uh, pretty easy so it would deal with the Einstein equation in vacuum further. It deals with the densities. I hope it is visible. Oh no, it is not. Yeah. So the, the source of curvature. So it's a measure of local space-time curvature equal to measure of matter and energy density. So this is basically speaking of the densities. So if you're really interested to know how the stress energy tensor and other things are uh, quite organized mathematically, this is the right book for you. The densities are being dealt the densities of energy momentum here you can see each and every element of the stress energy momentum tensor see for example t alpha beta uh, i mean to say t0 0 t to 1 all the indices these are being dealt conservation of energy of momentum this is also good as you see that the value is zero for flat space time and then it elaborates further then there are problems if you want to see gravitational wave emission nice nice uh, things are uh, further being covered bounds of the maximum maximum mass of the newton stars so this is what this book is all about i just wanted to give you a quick review that how this book now if you go for those who really understands uh, i mean to say relativity those who really understands what uh, uh, general relativity is all about this would be a very good book but take it that the organization of the book is done in such a way that you really know some amount of physics calculus differential geometry I mean to say it is not for anybody who can just uh, you know pick up and just uh, go through that that is not being done a lot of illustrations are there a lot of good experiments light cone etc the pages are also quite good you can just uh, sit over and just read through that so this is this is a nice uh, clear book which gives you and obviously the author really matters it is none other than James B Hartley I think that this is fine uh, this is a kind of a quick review on this book uh, of gravity it is i would say it is a good purchase it's something which you can really enjoy relax sit back and learn the mathematics and the internals of uh, of uh, general relativity thank you very much for watching this This channel is dedicated towards teaching Einstein's general theory of relativity and related subjects. For any further queries or suggestions, feel free to write at generalrelativityexplained at gmail.com.
Thank you for watching.